Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to our You Are Home Live tour of Holcomb Hall. Um, my name is Channing and I will be showing you guys around today. I am from Springdale, Arkansas and I am a senior communication major. So if you have any questions today, please comment those throughout the video or even after the video and we will be sure to answer those for you guys. And then behind the camera, we have Christopher today. Yeah, Christopher Spencer. I'm the assistant director for marketing and strategic communications here at Housing. You might have heard my voice in earlier videos, <laughs> but I'm Channing and I are going to show you this beautiful building. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of a pan of the building itself, which it's really has a wonderful classic style to it. Let's see if I can back up a little here. That's the building. Channing, you mind telling us what's in the neighborhood? Yeah, so this building is so beautiful, but before we go inside, we want to kind of point out what's around. Um, so the street that Holcomb is in front of is Garland Street, a pretty uh, habit in place around here. Uh, Marla chimed in and said that her son will be living in 244. Awesome! And Marla, we are checking out floor two, and if we can, we'll check out 244 specifically yeah. for your son. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, and let us know where you're from. We're very curious to know who's coming. Thanks, Shannon, for that tour of the neighborhood. It's so pretty out here. It's a great day. All right. You might, yeah. yeah, here at Holcomb, um, we have, or in every residence hall, um, there's a fobbing system, um, which is super safe and secure for residents. Um, so just have to fob in to get in the door. Mm -hmm. And we'll head this way. You're welcome, Marla. <laughs> welcome um, to Fayetteville, it says. Uh, I just yeah, like that sign. <laughs> there's some really cool pictures of the past semesters on the wall. Mm -hmm. Makes it feel super homey. And right over here is going to be the CRE's office, um, and I think... Hey, there you are. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? How are you? <laughs> Very good. Can you mind telling us what a CRE is? Yeah, CRE is someone who's there for um, the residents of the hall. So I'm the CRE for both Holcomb and Futural. Um, I also supervise the resident assistants that are both in Holcomb and Futural as well as the graduate assistant. So if you are a resident for Holcomb and Futural, please feel free to pop your head in my office so you can see where it's located at any time during the school year and I'll be there to help you the best I can. Excellent. You mind coming with us while I take the Absolutely, tour? Absolutely, let's go. We'd love that. All right, let's go. You got a lot of stuff on your on your door there, Mitchell. Yeah, so all of my door decks, so all of the RAs usually make door decks for the residents uh -huh. um, at the start of the school year, um, and some of them make some more for each other and also for myself. So, And some of this um, came from my previous institution as well. Very nice, yeah. very nice. Collecting it over the years. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right, so we are moving into and walking into the student study lounge in the first floor. Um, and so we have two different rooms, um, basically, that we have for students who want to study quietly or if they want to have like a more of a private study. Mm -hmm. um, this one, um, we have three tables and a couple chairs, um, as well as this other one. Hey, Nick. Nick says this will be his third year in Holcomb. Hi, Nick. Nick How are Lang. You <laughs> says you can find him, usually find him in the basement or at the, at events. Yeah. He'll be a lead hog. Yeah, definitely. I was actually just going to mention that. If you're going to be joining the Holcomb and Futural Lead Hogs, this is usually the table where we hold our meetings. Um, this is the lead hog. The lead hog space, basically, yes. for us, for meeting throughout the year. Perfect. Great, great. All right. Um, do you mind noting 244 as a room, Scott? Is there anything up there? 
These are the professional staff okay. um, apartments. So okay. the graduate assistant for Holcomb and Futrell and my own apartment also is down there. Um, those are both private residents. So not a lot of um, residents go through this way just because they are private um, areas as well. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna go uh, we out, out here to the, uh, to, the, to the parlor area. Yep. Also, um, very clean and green. So yes. we have almost five thousand water bottles saved, which is awesome. Do you keep a water bottle around campus? Of course. Yeah, oh, nice. Do you go pla Do you metal, plastic, wood? What do you do? I prefer uh, metal because mm -hmm. I feel like it keeps it um, colder. Yeah. Either is fine. Um, so right here we have the smaller kitchen. There's a bigger kitchen downstairs. downstairs yeah. Um, but you have a nice sink, microwave, full fridge. Mm -hmm. So that's super convenient. Perfect. It's awesome if you don't want to uh, bring a microwave or a mini fridge to your room. You can use this as you please. I hear cookies happen sometimes. Brownies yeah. happen sometimes. Of course. Frozen pizza, I would sure. imagine. <laughs> Over here we have a really nice piano. It's an elegant piano. It's very nice. Um, mm. So if you have any musical interests, you can mm -hmm. check that out. And over here, I think y'all call this the parlor? This is the living room. Oh, the living room, mm -hmm. okay. Um, Perfect. Super pretty, it feels like a home. Yeah. Like it feels so cozy in here. Um, mm -hmm. And this is where they do the global series. Yes, you're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so do you wanna talk about a little bit about that? Yeah, so global series is basically a series of program that is um, unique to Holcomb Hall. Um, so in a semester, we have about six to seven presenters. So the presenters are usually international students or domestic students who have had international experience through study, study abroad or exchange programs. And they talk about those um, countries in their presentation. So during um, global series, we change the, the setup of this room. So this becomes kind of a classroom um, setup. So we have chairs around and then we have a projector and a podium up top and um, we have activities as well during global series and we use that little room for um, a taste test because global series also ends with like a like a ethnic um, food taste test for the country of origin I was gonna point out that's that's one of the cool things that you come and you get to taste some of the food from the country itself so a little bit of a secret there in a yeah. sense so yeah. What I uh, think. What were some from last year? Do you happen to remember? We had the first one that started off last year was India and Pakistan. Um, we had Ukraine and Russia, France, Japan. Um, we had Malaysia. Um, we had the last one that we had um, for the year. Why am I blanking out? I'm on putting this? you on the spot. I, it's yeah, okay. That's right, it's that's okay. Right. Um, but but we did I'm just thinking of this international. Cuisines um, and culture. Yeah, so just definitely just a conversation around um, different spots in the country that are very interesting to um, go to if you are planning to visit that country, especially also the delicacies and the cuisine that that country has. That's why we have our taste test, so that we could have like that immersive experience for students. You got an assist from Nick. He says he thinks Laos. Yes. Was yes, the last did. one. Did Laos, yeah. Hey, thanks, Nick. Yeah. Appreciate that who also calls out some, some baking in Holcomb is very common. All right, so on to the front desk. Yeah. So typically someone will be working at the front desk mm -hmm. and if you have any questions, you lose your key, um, this is where you would go um, and they'll definitely be happy to help. And then if we head this way. Mm -hmm. Here we have the mailboxes. Um, and they do get their letter mail here, correct? No, they no. don't. So just like Futural, mm -hmm. these mailboxes are defunct. So okay. they're, they're basically for display. So we all have a zone desk at the Northwest Quad. So Morgan Hall has the desk for um, mail and packages for the residents of both Holcomb and Futural, um, as well as the key. So if you um, ever leave your key in your room and you need um, to have someone um, key you in. Usually you call the RA on duty, and if you need a key for an entire week because maybe you lost your key and you needed to have um, your locks changed, then you actually go to Morgan Hall, which is right across the street, um, to rent out a loaner key for the period of time that you need that. Good information. Yeah. 
All right. Awesome. And then if we head this way, uh -huh. we have actually the International um, Office of Students and Scholars. Here we are, yes. Um, it's located in the residence hall, which is super awesome and convenient for international students. Holcomb Hall, um, its population is about 40 to 50% international students. Mm -hmm. So it's awesome that they can just go downstairs and the office is right here. So yeah. we're Let's gonna pop in and see yeah. if they'll say hello to us. I think they will. Hey, how are you? Hi. So our office is primarily here for international students, mm -hmm. but we also do a lot of outreach with the community. Um, we have an ICT, International Culture Team, and iFriend. Uh, they're both great programs. You can get to know international students um, and make a new friend from across the world. Fantastic. And your name is? Kayla. Great to meet you, <laughs> Kayla. And so they can just come in, is what, 8 to 5? Yep, 8 general, to 5. General hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Okay, so now we're going to head downstairs to the basement where there's a lot of awesome common area spaces. Mm hmm. And Mitchell, how does trash work in this building? I know that's a question we get oftentimes. So each floor has a trash chute. Okay. So um, residents need to only bag their trash before mm -hmm. throwing it down the trash chute. Um, and then we also I think have laundry is in this direction, is that right? Yes, okay. laundry is here. Um, and then we also have recycling bins in every floor um, that is available for recycling. Okay, yeah. great. So recycling and trash both. Yeah. And then if you have cardboards that you'd like to discard, we actually have a space here for cardboards. Okay. It normally wouldn't look like that. <laughs> We're summer. We're in summer mode. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we have uh, a space given here um, and allotted for residents to dismantle their cardboards and deposit their cardboards that way. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. So right now we are in the laundry room. Mm -hmm. um, four washers, four dryers. Um, we have some bedding machines. Okay. As well as an ice machine in there. And the awesome thing about this campus is we have an app called Laundry Alert, which basically you download the app on your phone, you can put in which number of machine you're using, and if you can get notifications about your laundry when it's done, which is awesome. And if you forget how it works, there's a poster on the wall. There we are. That explains that. More information. And there's also, you can go to... Uh, housing.uark.edu forward slash laundry and find out more about it too. Yeah. Um, our vending machines take cash, card, and Apple Pay and Android Pay. Is that correct? I think wireless. It looks like it has that wireless. I know I've tested yeah. Apple Pay with it and yeah. that's worked okay. That's awesome. There's also a TV down here so if you want to just chill while your laundry is going, you're mm -hmm. welcome to do that. So do you watch TV or do you use a laptop more? <laughs> my laptop more. Really? I never realized that until just now. Interesting, interesting. All um, right. I want a Netflix on my computer. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Mitch, are you are you binging anything at the moment? Are you watching anything? Yeah, so Big Little Lies just finished. Okay. Um, this Sunday. That was such a satisfying series finale. Was, was it? It was really, really good. A good like season it. finale is yeah. not common, so it, that's good. It, 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 Shows. Mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. This, one, this one was really good. And now that that's done, I'm bench watching Euphoria also on Euphoria, HBO. I'll yeah. keep an eye on that. <laughs> okay, so okay. we're. Here we have this awesome common area space with this huge TV. Yeah, let me so give you a nice. good 360 here of it. Yeah, I love like the paint in here. It's so like, bright and cheery. Yeah. Um, there's a ping pong table over here. Mm -hmm. And if they want to rent paddles and things, is that at the front desk? That's at the front desk, yes. Awesome. And the nice thing about this TV as well is it's a smart TV. So if you have a Netflix account um, or a Hulu account or even HBO Go or Stars on the Go, you could just log into that TV, put in your credentials, um, have your friends who live in the residence hall watch a show with you, um, and then you're good to go. Awesome. There's also a pool table over mm -hmm. here um, and some really cute window seats. I love all the details in this building. Oh, yeah, the window seats. I don't know yeah. that I ever noticed that. Huh. Super cozy. Yeah. And then this is 
where that full kitchen I was mentioning earlier is. So you have the full fridge, big sink, and an oven and a stove, and microwave. So you have everything you can eat in here. Um, if you need to rent pots or pans, um, you would do that at the front desk. Um, you can just leave your student ID in the front desk, um, rent whatever utensil that you want, um, and then when you're finished, after you've cleaned it, hopefully, um, you can return it to the front desk and you can get your student ID back. So that's awesome if you want to get a cookie sheet or some cookies or some pots. My favorite go-to is spaghetti. So that's yeah, cool. really? It's really, yeah, it's really easy and I never get tired of it. Sure, sure. Do you buy the sauce already pre-made, or do you make the sauce? I, I get it pre-made. Yeah, no, that's I'm lazy. totally understandable. Yeah. Most of our residents um, do have their own pots and pans. Okay. Um, they have their utensils, and so they tend to just go to the kitchen and just like do their thing. But to some of the residents who may not have those pots and pans and um, baking sheets available, we do have those um, at the whole confront desk to be checked out at whatever time. Sure. And Nick points out baking, that's the way to make friends. <laughs> yeah. Get down there and make some cookies. Yeah, and be sure. Go ahead. Go on a second floor. And then let's go ahead and hit 244 first. Okay. We can look at that room for her. You said you're majoring in communications, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're a senior coming up. I know. <laughs> Any thoughts on what's next? Um, right now, I really like media marketing, social mm -hmm. media marketing, that side of communication, but communication is so broad, and you can go so many different ways with it that I'm still trying to figure it out. But I still have a year left, um, so... Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so... 244 is one of our singles. Mm -hmm. um, so come in. Now this is a single room, so this is, typically it's not a single. This is just a, happens to be a single that we've got here. We do have a couple of singles on every floor on the whole country. Sure. Let me give a good 360 on this. Here you are, Marla, for your son. So you might open in the closet for yeah, sure. Thanks. It comes with a mirror, uh -huh. awesome. And there's also some um, shelving in there if you want to go Yeah, I'll go take a look at that. That would be awesome to put shoes on. <laughs> I would love that. Plenty of room for that. Mm -hmm. That's fine, that's fine. Um, plenty of storage. Mm -hmm. awesome. Great, okay. So that's a single room, that's what it looks like. We'll go ahead and go to, I think we had some rooms hey, identified over the there. Bathroom. Yeah, check out the bathroom, yeah. that's a good idea. We'll pick Suey, you'll hear that a lot when you arrive. <laughs> oh, there's also another little community space in here. Uh -huh. Be awesome to meet up for like a group project. Sometimes the library gets full, so finding other rooms can be a task. So it's nice that this is available. Hey Hannah, thanks for asking us about 332. Unfortunately, we're only on floor two today, yeah. but uh, you'll be here in August and we, we can't wait for you to see it. 332. Thanks for watching. Yeah. If there's interest from our viewers this afternoon, we could also show folks um, what the double room looks like, mm -hmm. if yeah. anyone's interested. Sure, sure. Um, that's the standard, right? Yes. I think that's what we're going to, hopefully, I think down here at the end of the... So we'll go ahead and check out a bathroom. Okay. Um, and this is a traditional bathroom style, right? Yes. Community bathroom style. We have these showers that have a little changing space in between, which is always nice. Sure, let me yeah. go one in there. So 
Here's the shower. You have a little space in there. Yeah, I like those shelves. It's nice. Mm -hmm. As well as a seating area right there that you can use. You also have a ton of counter space in here, mm -hmm. which I know I would really appreciate. And also has the um, outlets for all of your tools. Mm -hmm. um, great mirror action, sinks, and stalls. Indeed. Very nice. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. And now we can check out a more standard double room. Mm -hmm. So this is room 209. Room 209. Here we are. Go if you'd like to. Mm -hmm. okay. So this will be a more typical room setup. Mm -hmm. You have two beds. Two desks with, they both come with a desk chair. You go ahead and pan around okay. from that view. You have two um, sets of drawers mm -hmm. and a little night table that also locks. So if you have any valuables, um, you can store them in these drawers and you have to bring your own lock. And then you can just um, turn this, well it's already turned, and keep them nice and safe. Mm -hmm. So that's important. You bring your own lock for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you guys have any questions about measurements? Yeah, okay. this is the perfect time to hit us up with these measurements. Do you mind if we look at that closet in there too? Yeah. It might be a little bit different than the. Yeah. And there's two of them in the room. Right. And you have a mirror right there. students. Um, students really tend to learn from each other in Holcomb um, just because um, we make sure that international students have a domestic experience by pairing them with a domestic student um, and in my experience having worked at the CRE in Holcomb for a year I have had stories of residents really learning from each other and residents who actually form a very good bond and relationship that they end up visiting each other in their um, home country. Oh, that's wonderful. That's awesome. Um, Muhammad S. Hamid says so many memories over here. Apparently, oh. we have an alumni tuning yeah. in. We love that. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Um, Kristen asks, how thick are the mattresses? So maybe we could yeah. measure the mattresses. Yeah. I think measuring the measuring materials. Thank you. We use the analog for this one. We do have a digital too. Yeah. Okay. Looks like five inches. It seems about right. Yeah. yeah. About five inches. Five inches thick. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a soft side and a firm side on the um, mattresses. Um, traditionally, both sides um, are the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but my suggestion for those students who want an extra soft um, mattress is to buy a mattress topper. Those are available like in Walmart and Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, and basically you just put it on top of your mattress. Um, and then there's like, it usually comes with um, a fitted sheet. So you put it on top, you put a fitted sheet around it so that it doesn't move and then do your beddings and stuff over it. Um, that gives you more height because the mattress topper is about like two inches okay. um, and it gives you much more of a comfortable um, feel. You know, mattress toppers and shower shoes are just like musts. Yes. I think, I think you're gonna want those if you're moving here for the first time. Anything else you can think of that, you know, you should definitely have, or um, you're dealing I, with refreshment just generally. Yeah, I would say also a shower caddy, so mm -hmm. you're not like carrying everything down to the bathroom. Also, um, maybe a bathrobe. I know I'm a big bro person, mm -hmm. um, so maybe you bring one of those, especially when it's cold. There's nothing better than just like a warm fuzzy robe. <laughs> um, anything else? Um, can you think of anything? We talked about um, mattress toppers, mm -hmm. um, yeah. shower slippers. Um, 
And I think, you know, if you want to take showers at night, then definitely have your shower cap. Um, have that with you. A shower caddy is definitely a must, especially if you're living in the middle of the floor and both of the bathrooms are on the opposite end. You don't want to be holding all of your stuff. You want to have like a little thing that holds everything together at once. Kristen uh, is thanking us for the measurement on the mattress. Um, now is a great time to ask us any questions because we're here to measure anything you might want to know about yes. this particular hall. And one thing I wanted to add about bathroom is that every floor has two bathrooms on, on the um, west and east side or west and east wing of um, Hoka, basically. And they're cleaned daily by university housing staff. Mm -hmm. So always very clean. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Any other tips and tricks you can think of for our incoming students? I think we've talked about like most of them. Yeah, we've um, kind of I think overview. being courteous, especially when it's your first time moving into um, a residence hall, being courteous of your neighbors and being courteous with um, your roommate at the start of the semester or the start of the year really goes a long way. Um, we have our RAs also facilitate roommate agreements. Um, so um, make sure that you know what you want to do with your space um, and communicate that with your RA at the start of um, the semester, as well as communicating that with, you, with your roommate will really um, go a long mm -hmm. way. Do you happen to know about um, hot and cold in this building? Is it one, one, is it either all hot or all cold? So we do switch. Um, so we switch from um, cold to hot um, in the fall, like late fall, um, and then we switch back about March, late March or April, um, but it is all hot, all cold. So during the cold seasons, we do have heating, and during the hot seasons, we have um, AC or cooling. So on an unseasonable day, you might you might be a little a little bit uncomfortable, depending. You could open the window, mm -hmm. uh, most definitely. Fans um, are good. Fans are good as well, um, uh, but we've really not had a lot of problems with Holcomb when it comes to yeah. um, temperature. Absolutely. Well, uh, we've got no more questions. I maybe you can some help help say help us say goodbye. And yeah. Well, moving is going to be very soon, so I'm very excited to meet everyone who's going to be living in Holcomb. Um, we have a lot of programs lined up for all of our residents, so please be excited for that as well. Um, and Holcomb and Future, as I said in the previous live tour for Future, function as one community. Um, so if you are watching and you're a future resident, um, feel free to come to Holcomb um, for all of our programs and all of our events. And you could also very much use all of our study spaces for um, your academic needs um, throughout the year. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to see where we will be next, you can check out the full schedule of tours at movein.uark.edu. And you can come um, check out some more residence halls with us. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.